Alright guys, so I got this in the mail the other day from uh, Bushnell. This is the Bushnell and Gage. This came out uh, the announcement at SHOT Show uh, a few months ago. And it's basically a step under their Elite Tactical line. And got a lot of the features that the Elite Tac does have. Uh, I'm not extremely familiar with it. But, and uh, I actually got this just kind of on a uh, kind of luck of the draw. I had a millet scope into Bushnell's warranty, uh, like a repair for their warranty. And uh, basically, I have a trip coming in early October, and the the millet scope, the TRS-1, was going to be back ordered till at least the end of October. So I was waiting and waiting because usually it's three to four week turnaround. It's been two months. No one at Bushnell told me that they were back ordered. So I'm just sitting there waiting. So I finally contact them, and they said that it was out, you know, for two or three more months, and that I could upgrade. So, you know, they uh, they gave me the option for the Engage that they said just came out, and uh, you know, it's got a lot better features than the Millet and whatever, and that it was going to be an $85 upgrade. And when I called, actually, uh, they just sent it out to me for free. Which is actually really nice because I I basically got that millet for free also so I guess I paid ten bucks for this scope for shipping and it's pretty nice when they're uh, I think Midway has them for four hundred and the I think the MSRP on them's uh, four ninety nine right now but uh, this is a four by sixteen by forty four as you can see. give you the, the model number and everything it does have a uh, MOA PIDs or PIDs the dope and uh, it's also MOA adjustments that was another thing I didn't like about the millet it was mill um, mill dope or pit dopes and uh, it had uh, MOA adjustments which is fine if, if you kind of range finding with it but I, I just like to have everything to match so uh, here's some of the the new options on it uh, the locking turrets those are actually really cool and the the zero reset that will go over uh, it does have a parallax adjustment and uh, the actual coating it's it's a newer thing it uh, I'll show you the the pamphlet inside but that's how it comes in this uh, it's nice pretty nice box oh, it does have their their ironclad warranty and uh, yeah, that's how the box looks. Pretty sweet. It came really quick too. They said it was going to be about seven to fourteen days. I think I got this three days after uh, I got off the phone with them. But uh, let's see a little flap. Uh, this did come, you know, with, in a bag. And uh, but that's it. Everything else. So. The thing looks, you know, it's, it's got some weight to it. It's actually a little lighter than the millet. Uh, the millet was a, it did have a, an illuminated, illuminated optic, but this one doesn't. But I, you know, I really don't need the, the illumination for what I'm doing right now. And uh, I really wanted to try the scope out after I was reading on it. But... Sorry guys, if the, the glare on these things, these are glossy as hell. But here you go. Here's for the reticle. Uh, the smaller ones are 2 MOA wide, and the, the bigger hash marks are 4 MOA wide. And uh, just regular hashes. And uh, all these are 1 MOA down. Here's that exo coating. You guys just read it. It's probably better than me trying to explain it. Well, I will definitely see how this works in uh, Wyoming and Montana this this upcoming October. Here's a little more about the what the exo does. Because it just breaks up the the water better. So it allows more uh, light in. 
yeah, the locking turrets are really cool. And, uh, you know, no tools for this thing, which is really nice. Yeah, it is waterproof, shockproof, all the, all that stuff. All right. So, of course, you'll have your little Bushnell sticker. And uh, if you want to register it, I don't know. I never really register much. Uh, this has, like, their iron, ironclad warranty, so you don't need, like, a... Uh, a receipt or anything you just send it right in so, yeah we don't need Italian so that's it that's for all the info now this uh this scope all right so uh, it does come with the lens covers Pop nice and out of the way. It's just have the button on it. And uh, here's your zoom adjustments. And uh, the control knob is, is pretty easy to, to control and move. Uh, but you're not going to really knock it, knock it around. And uh, here's a parallax adjustment. Goes from 10 yards. All the way out to infinity. And, uh, there you go. It's uh, all quarter MOA adjustments. This is elevation and, of course, windage. I like how the, uh, the windage is marked right and left. Oh, I'm sorry. I can't adjust. You know, sometimes on, on some of my other scopes, like, I can't remember, so I'll have to look. And I'll be like, okay, right is that way. But now on this thing, you know. You know, right. And uh, there's the locking turrets. They will not move. If they're down, if you want to adjust, just pull them up. It's got really positive clicks on it, too. And, uh, you know. And if you want to lock them again, just put them down. And yeah, it's a lot better than the, you know, jam nuts and locking rings and shit. But it's nice and positive. It's it's pretty simple to turn. I don't know why I'm keep washing out. But to lock. And also uh, to take these off, you just unscrew the tops. <clears throat> it pops right off. That's uh that's really nice. You're not screwing around with Allen keys and wrenches and so just to adjust your zero. That is definitely nice out in the field. Uh or just even at a range if you don't want to carry a bunch of crap with you. And uh they sit on pretty pretty tight. This is a thirty millimeter tube also, by the way. They do make uh one inch tubes too on some of the different ones but yeah so far this thing's impressed me I'm, I'm gonna put it on my 20 inch AR uh, for Prairie Dog and uh, see how it works Let's see if I can get some oh, how do we do this All right. go to out of my back cave for a second uh, if it's not too sunny out, let's see if I can get the reticle on camera. Yeah, it's pretty sunny. There we go. Oh, nope. <laughs> Yep, I don't think I'm gonna get any better than that. It really sucks. But yeah, you guys see it on the uh, on paper. Looks exactly the same. 
Yeah, that sucks. Oh well. All right. But anyway, after that fail, uh, I'll get some more video when I'm actually using the thing, and uh, I'll post an update. But so far, pretty excited about it. Uh, really happy. It's uh, I'm sure it's gonna work out great. And uh, right now, I'm just gonna put it on this arrow, uh, the arrow precision precision lightweight. Uh, the one thing I've noticed also about this this mount is kind of when you tighten it up, it, it, it clocks the scope just a little bit clockwise. So I'm going to start counterclockwise on it. And, uh, you know, because they're not, caps don't go down. So when I tighten it, it just it, just a tiny, tiny bit. And I've been having a little issues with it. It's been pissing me off. But I'll get there. But uh, you guys have any questions, or if you have one and have any issues with it, let me know. Thanks.